in 2022, I still have over 220,000 euros lying in my scalable capital portfolio. My name is Bharat. Welcome to another video on Brand Device. And in this video, I want to share with you why exactly I'm still using scalable capital and why for you as an expat or somebody who has a German passport, doesn't matter what, if you are willing to invest in stock market in Germany, scalable capital is still a very interesting option to look at. I'm going to show you all of the costs. I'm going to show you its functions. And I'm also going to some more details which are going to make your journey of investing in the stock market in Germany very, very easy. The nice thing is that scalable capital is now slowly being available also in other European countries. So France is already inside, Spain and Italy too. So this is very nice and hopefully this is going to keep on expanding. You can also see it very clearly on their page itself. So you have Germany, Austria, Italy, France and Spain. I missed on Austria. Right, so this is very nice. This means like if you're from any of these countries and you're an expat and you want to invest in scalable capital, this video is still relevant to you. So let me first start by telling you why exactly do you need a depot like scalable capital. So the thing is, when you want to invest in the stock market in Germany, you need to have a depot so that you are able to transfer the money to your depot account and that depot account or broker makes any kind of exchanges of securities for you so that you can buy or sell a stock, right? It's very easy to open these days. It used to be very difficult. Now it's very simple and most of the process you can just do directly from the comfort of your home and you don't even have to go out. Everything can be done directly from your phone. Now I will take you through the offerings first. So uh, on the page you will see here that right now they also have a offer going on that is if you are investing till 18th April, so you are opening your depot and you're making at least two uh, orders till 18th April, you will be getting a 20 euros sign up bonus, which is very nice. So unlimited trading. And the very nice thing here is that you can make savings plan. Now, what are savings plans? Savings plans are automatic investments that you can make into a specific stock or a specific ETF. ETF is a collection of stocks. And this happens automatically every single month or every twice a month, whatever kind of frequency you have chosen. And you are able to do it without any kind of then, you know, stress in the back of your head that you have to transfer the money to the broker. It is going to be directly deducted from your current account or your Jiro Konto. And it is going to be then invested into the fund that you chose. Very nice and simple. I can show you how quickly it is made. So savings plan, if I go here and let's say I make a savings plan for Tesla, I will go click here at Jetzt Einrichten. And then afterwards I say, I'm only going to make a savings plan of one euro. So let's say instead of monatlich, I can do alle zwei Monate. So like every two months or I can do um, every three months. So these are the options which are available right now. And the thing is like, it keeps on like, you know, improving. So it is also possible that it someday shows up like, you know, every two weeks or something. Then when it has to be executed, so you can pick a date. There's also an interesting option called, which is Inflationsschutz or which is inflation adjustment. So you can say that every single year, I want to increase the amount of money that I'm investing inside this fund by 2%, by 3%, by 5%. So it's just that, it's nothing else. So you are just like continuously increasing the amount of money that you are investing inside. All right. If you don't want to do anything just for the purposes of this video, I'll put one euro inside so that I can show you that how easy it is. And I just click on Sparplan Aktivieren and Sparplan Eingerichtet. That means like it's uh, done now. And it is going to be then activated on the time, whatever you chose previously. So if you want to close it, it's very simple. You can just at the bottom click on Sparplan Löschen and it's done. So that's how simple it is. You don't have to fill out any kind of paperwork to cancel the savings plan that you have just started. You don't have to file applications, things like that. And this is a problem that I see with many other brokers, which are like the traditional brokers, which are offered by your banks or something. That it's just the paperwork is absolutely insane. I don't see the sense of it when you can like do something so simply with a broker like Scalable Capital. If you take a look at the offerings, so there is zero fees for execution of all of the equity that is like you know stocks and ETF saving plans and also the savings plan you can start with as less as just one euros per month and you have a lot of different kind of stocks and ETFs available around 1900 
and you also have a lot of flexibility like i showed you you can just choose different kind of dates to start your savings plan and that is very very nice then you have some plans for example if you say that you're not trading a lot right and all you are doing is just savings plan you don't want to actively buy or sell stocks then simply a free broker is completely fine for you because you can run the savings plan without any kind of costs still and if you are buying or selling at that you're paying only 99 cents and this is like so nice i mean it's not even a euro um i on the other hand have prime broker so you can see it on my portfolio here prime broker and the thing i use it is because i do buy and sell a lot and at that time i don't want to pay 99 cents every single time i want to buy or sell so that's why i have prime broker so here i pay 2 euros 99 per month and the thing is if you're making just around like you know three trades um per month or something then it's already worth it to go with this because you don't have any kind of commission involved at all you just have a subscription model and everything else is then completely up to you so when you scroll down and you take a look at the prices in more detail you see that if you're making any kind of orders from zero to 250 euros that is buy or sell orders not the savings plan if you're doing that you're paying 99 cents both in prime broker and also in free broker but if you are making orders above 250 euros then it's zero euros generally when you're buying or selling stocks you do not like buy or sell like small amounts when you have small amounts you just put it as a savings plan and that's why like there's this kind of distinction you can also use different kind of exchanges for example all of the order fees that you are seeing right now the zero and 99 cents this is for getx this is a exchange in munich and if you want to go towards zetra there you are paying around like you know four euros I personally have all of my trades going on GetX. I really have had no problems with it at all so far and I can really recommend you the same. Then you also are able to invest in cryptocurrency via this and you're not exactly buying cryptocurrency here but you're investing in crypto funds. There is a big difference there. So here also you have savings plan from 1 euros per month um, directly with any kind of cryptocurrency that you want to invest in and the fees for buying or selling is again 99 cents below 250 euros and above 250 euros it's zero for prime and it's 99 cents still for your free broker and then afterwards there is really no other fee if you see like everything is super transparent and you have absolutely no like you know opening fee no yearly cost nothing like that this is something i find very interesting because this makes things very transparent if i show you my portfolio i started this portfolio i think back in 2020 yeah october 2020 or something and since that time i've been like you know adding more funds inside and everything is doing very well and it's almost two years so like whatever kind of like you know experience that i'm sharing with you right now it's after a long time so you know that i've tested this thing quite a lot um you can take a look at all of the transactions that you have made previously my favorite is when i receive dividends from the companies so for example main street capital is a company i've invested in and i get around 78 euros every single month in dividends this is a monthly dividend company so that makes it very interesting you can also search for a lot of different kind of stocks directly in the search bar so for example if i want to search for something like um johnson and johnson so you can directly see it here and then you can also like very simply buy or sell or you can start a savings plan whatever fits you you can do all of that directly on the desktop and also on your phone this is one of the big benefits that i find of using scalable capital that you don't have to restrict yourself only to phone or only to computer or something you can choose any of the interface and you have all of the functions available on both of the platforms either on computer or on phone so this is like pretty much my um, insights about scalable capital so you might be asking the question can i invest as an expat in germany yes you can invest as an expat in germany it is not a problem at all because the thing is the money that you're earning anyways you're paying tax on that and when you're making profits in the stock market you will also pay tax on that and the benefit of using german brokers at least when you're living in germany is that all of the taxes are going to be taken care of directly by the broker itself that means you don't have to make any kind of extra filings you don't have to make any kind of extra paperwork at the end of the year when you're filing your taxes 
this is a huge benefit when you compare it with other trading platforms of course you might have your own preferences but this was one of the main reasons i started with german brokers when i was living in germany and even now when i moved to romania i could just keep my portfolio still with scalable capital and i can still invest with them regularly even afterwards if i move to denmark i move to spain i move to france italy whatever I can still keep my portfolio with scalable capital. I have all of this freedom of traveling around in any of the EU countries wherever I have the SEPA function available and I can just keep investing on scalable capital. So these are a few important things you should keep in mind. We also have a new project, financetermin.com, which is our new website. There you can read a lot more about investing, stocks, banks, things like that. And I'm going to link some articles for that website in the description below if you still need to read something. I think personally this video covers everything, all of the details you need. It's super simple to start and it's also very simple to close. There are not any kind of paperwork involved. Everything can be done directly online. If you want to open your free depot today and get the 20 euros sign up bonus, make sure that you use my affiliate link given in the description below so that you can start investing today without paying any kind of unnecessary fee. I'm going to see you in another video.